State University. We had our finals this past week, and I have just been stressing throughout the week trying to get videos up. Some days I accomplished it, some days I didn't, but hey, School is more important, honestly. School is where all of my attention will go. But I decided to get on here and try to give you guys some tips on how I finish my finals week and tips that I use to try to study good or get through the finals week properly. Hi, so I know some schools still out there that are still taking finals this week and next week. And thankfully, we already finished our finals, so I decided to try to get on here and tell you guys some of my tips and tricks to how I get through finals week. I know this, these might not work for everybody, but these are just things that I do and that I use to try to be well prepared for my exams and my tests. So the first thing that I recommend trying to pay attention to when trying to get through finals or trying to prepare for your test is where you're studying at and your space. Space means a lot. Me, I like to, I cannot study in a group. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of people will ask me, hey, would you wanna come and study with us over here? We're we gonna have a study session over there. I can do that when it's with a regular project, but when it comes to exams, I have to be in my zone because I get distracted so easily, like somebody can walk past and I'll like pay a look up every time somebody walk past. I can't study in the library, I can't study in public places. Me, I'm in my zone best when I'm in my bed with a glass of wine studying. That is me. A lot of people I know, they have to study in groups or they like enjoy just getting to vibe off of other people. Me, I think I'm an introvert or yeah, I kind of get my, my energy from within. So I try to like make sure, I do watch the TV honestly. A lot of people listen to music or that's how they kind of vibe I guess. But me, I'm a television person. I have to have the TV running. I have to hear something talking while I'm studying. But the music throws me off for some reason. Like I can't listen to music and study, but I can run like, but it has to be an old episode or something. I can run like old episodes of like Real Housewives or something while I'm studying and that will like totally get me through it and just drink a glass of wine or a box of wine or however much wine I need to get through it. So the second thing that I think is extremely important to pay attention to when you're trying to figure out how to study or how to prepare for your exams is timing. You want to try to at least allot a certain amount of time uh, a week to get through it. Now, honestly, I'm good under pressure. I work best under pressure. So I can't study for like, if my exam is this week, I can't start studying two, three weeks ahead. I, I can't because I'm not going to remember anything. Like it, it doesn't stick with me. If I need something now, I'd rather study it now. So I normally start studying around like maybe, it depends on how many chapters as well. Let's say it's from chapter 11 to 20. Okay, that's nine chapters. I can go through two chapters a day or, you know, two and a half because it's not an even number. So I can start studying maybe like, you know, four or five days before the test. I do try to give myself, I don't try to like jam pack and cram with exams and stuff like that, but I cannot study three. I don't see how people do it, how they study like the entire month or how do you remember what you study at the beginning of the month? Like I just can't do it. I'll only remember what I studied this past week probably. But I do try to give myself ample amount of time to get through each chapter, eat it off, eat, <laughs> to get through each chapter properly and to try to like just make sure I understand the content. I don't try to jam pack it. I don't try to cram it, cram it. That's not what I'm saying. But I cannot study months in advance because I'm not, honestly not going to remember. It doesn't stick like so. My third tip but my first like key to the streets honestly is study breaks i have to have study breaks i cannot sit for three four hours and just be in books i have to have at least like a 30 minute okay i'm gonna go grab some popcorn i'm gonna go walk around because i do stay in downtown columbus so i'm gonna go walk around a little bit try to like free my mind for two seconds because I would get so like, I'll read the same sentence maybe five times when I start doing that or when I start like kind of getting in my own head about things or overthinking things or making little mistakes. I'm like, okay, it's time for a steady break. And steady breaks, my steady breaks can range from like five minutes for me just to get up, use the bathroom to maybe 30 minutes for me to go walk around downtown. So the next thing that I use to try to get through my studying or to help me remember the information is flashcards, 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 and notes. Just 
writing period honestly just being able to write something down rather it's twice you know you take notes in class and then when you're when it's time to study you do a little like study guide or breakdown of those notes you rewrite them because that's how I remember I have a very ph photogenic photography I don't know what the word is but I, I remember pictures it, which is weird so I remember I remember me writing it down and I remember what the page looks like and then I can see the words on the page in my head if that makes any sense like I, I just remember being able to see things rather than I can't hear if I hear it I'm not gonna listen I mean I'm not gonna listen but you yeah, know if I see it it's way better or if it's hands-on it's way but anything that I can visualize me seeing me doing I definitely got it down but as far as my fourth tip it would have to be note cards are your best friend in college honestly no card okay so my last tip my fifth tip is to sleep sleep please sleep a lot of students a lot of college students make mistakes when they try to stay up till three in the morning knowing their exam is at like eight and even the thing is let's say i stay up to study and i don't stop studying until three four in the morning your body doesn't just automatically go to sleep nobody just like just goes straight to sleep like that you're going to take another hour trying to get comfortable trying to go to sleep so now it's rolling around five something which means that you're going to have to wake up at least at seven to try to be on time to try to get dressed and stuff like that because i drive to school school is around like 20 minutes away from me so i drive back and forth to school each day um, so I have to leave out the house or, you know, be at least ready to go at least 30 minutes before my class. I can give myself time to get there on time. But, um, yeah, a lot of students try to stay up all night studying, stay up all night cramming. And yeah, that, that, that's pointless, honestly, because when you wake up in the morning, you're going to be pissed off. You're going to be mad. You don't have any sleep. And it's just going to be like, it's going to be hell trying to get through the test, trying to stay awake. And coffee doesn't always do it because honestly, coffee, I love black coffee. Do not get me wrong, but coffee more so keeps your body up. You know what I'm saying? It's more so like you're still going to be tired. It's not like it's a surge of just like B12 energy. No. You're still going to be tired with coffee. Coffee just keeps your body going because it, it high well, it increases your metabolism. Coffee does not make your mind go faster. It does not make you think faster. It doesn't help you retain information. It doesn't do anything but keep your body going, period. So you're going to be sluggish. You're going to be all over the place. Don't get me wrong. You could move, all of that, but you're still going to be sluggish. You're still going to be tired. You're still going to be everything. The best thing to do is to get some sleep. At least try to get, I never, I haven't got a full night's sleep, honestly. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So I can't say try to get a full night's sleep, but at least six, I try to give myself at least six to seven hours of sleep. With if all I that being said, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment any Vlogmas ideas that you guys want to see from me in the comment box below. It can be things that aren't Christmas themed, things that aren't so Christmas themed just from day to day life. And also, please remember to hit those links because I also link all of my prior videos in the comments. So hit those links and go check some more of my videos out. But thank you guys for watching. Again, I say bye bye because it's Vlogmas, baby.